posting this up in the next few days. Fantastic. Day one, time is four o'clock, I believe. We got another motorcycle out right now, adventure bike. That's awesome, that makes my day. A little bit before four o'clock. So I'm gonna officially start my time and check-in. And what better way to do it than a quick trip? <laughs> We will start my tracking devices here. Okay. So, whoops. Tracking. Start. We don't need to share it. So, Garmin is sending my tracking every 10 minutes. So once I've gotten that photo taken, we will ball this guy up. That's not gonna work right there. And put that in here. Ooh, I'm warm already. I guess that's a good thing, but it's not a bad thing. Hotel receipts can go back there. Okay. Put that back in here. That. Back in here. And we are ready to roll. Are you doing an iron butt too? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm starting my 48 and 10 right now. You're doing what? My 48 and 10. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. you finished doing a Father's Day. Slip. Oh, yeah. Um, summer solstice. That's fantastic. Lack of Wisconsin. Oh, my gosh. That's and awesome. Me, me, I'm, I'm in the iron butt. So well. Heck, yeah. Um, First official gas stop. Quick trip, and I actually ran into another iron butt guy that's just finishing up. He's got to go all the way up to Milwaukee, but he did a summer solstice, ride to work, and the whole perimeter of Wisconsin. I guess that's awesome. We were at the same quick trip for that, but I've got to get going. This is the official start to my 48 states in 10 days challenge, so let's get on the run and ride. Thanks getting up way early in the morning at 3 a.m. worth it. There's so much adrenaline going and it's only been an hour and a half <laughs> and I know it's probably not a good thing because I'm going to wear myself out even though I'm not trying to but dang just getting through Chicago I think that was the largest like hurdle that I had to get through so we are taking the Illinois Skyway Bridge toll which is I've never done this before just super cool I love going through bridges on the bike. Fantastic. Officially made it past Wisconsin, Illinois, and now I'm in Indiana. Headed to Michigan next. So, uh, making pretty good time so far. This helmet is squishing my forehead. <laughs> Chicken in from Sturgis. Sturgis? Sturgis, Michigan? That's really hard to say. <laughs> Um, just got through Indiana, had some problems with my pass, apparently it wasn't reading it for being a motorcycle, I'm not sure, but hopefully got things figured out. Next stop is Ohio, so yeah, all in all, not doing too bad, kind of chasing the rain, but it's not, it's not hitting me, so just gotta keep rolling. Okay, bye! Officially in Ohio. Almost on the border right now, headed to Pennsylvania. Grab some of my snacks for a little bit to get a quick lunch in and keep going. Pretty much went to the bathroom, got some food. Actually chatted with somebody that was interested on the bike again. This is every single stop I feel like, which is a good thing. I love it that they're interested in the bike and they want to talk about it. 
But for me, I'm like, I gotta keep going. <laughs> I feel the pressure, but I'm probably fine. What am I? I'm 463 miles into it right now. Got a long ways to go yet. A lot of time spent through Pennsylvania and New York. Apparently this Shell gas station is out of paper for this one. Like I physically have the receipt of that and the date and all that. Do I go get another receipt or do I call it good? <laughs> it's not worth it for me right now. I need to keep moving. So we're just going to call it good and see what happens. So this is stop number six, right? Pennsylvania. Five, five, nine, four miles. It's on the other side. Okay. So next up is New York, Vermont. Pretty much the hotel for the night. Two more stops. This is not the stop in New York that I wanted to be at, but for other personal reasons ladies you'll understand this moment <laughs> had to make a pit stop early and also i'm going to run into like a whole hour delay of traffic so i need to add 20 more extra miles to make it to my almost last stop before my hotel tonight so never fails it's always something all right gotta get back on the road okay see you guys soon let up a lot since I've been here for the last I don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes almost I had to take an actual break because I couldn't see anything out of my helmet plus the semis were just throwing water in my face and then on the bike and it was lightning and thunder out I have 130 miles yet to go two hours two hours in the just want to be at the hotel. I am beyond done tonight. And if I try to find something right now, then I'm behind schedule for tomorrow, which sucks even more. And I don't want that. Okay, just need to suck it up. <laughs> I get the rest of my nuggets. Now I need to just go. I need to get out of here. Okay, wish me luck. So, I made it to the hotel, but just barely. It's 1 a.m. in the morning here, which is technically midnight. I left at 3 a.m. from Wisconsin. I didn't even do an iron butt. I didn't even get that far, but I rode the last two and a half hours in complete downpours. So, everything. And I mean, everything is drying up, hopefully within the next four hours, and charging, because my comms unit died. I stayed fairly dry, except for my hair is just, that high tail soaked up all that water. So the back of my head is a little wet. My toes are just a smidge wet, but not too bad. So far, I'm very happy with the rain gear that I invested in. Let's just hope it dries out for tomorrow. I need to go to bed. But I also need to take a hot shower. And sleep. One day down. Nine more to go. Wow. It was not fun. <laughs> I've been going nonstop in the rain since Maine, which was 10 a.m. this morning. It is now 6.30.
I'm soaked. 